my name is Luis and I'm from Home Tech Laser. We are located here in our showroom in Southern California. And in this video, we will go over general maintenance of your CO2 laser machine. So we will divide general maintenance into five different sections. Number one would be internal optics. Number two would be external optics. Number three would be the linear rail system. Number four would be the inner and outside body of the machine. And number five would be the distilled water. So for general maintenance, you would need these basic accessories to clean your machine. You would need cleaning wipes, lens cleaning wipes, uh, can wipes, lens cleaning spray, cotton swab tips, soft paper towels, white lithium grease, and heavy duty cleaning wipes. Section one will cover the internal optics. We will just focus on the focus lens and mirror number three. These are the most important optics to clean. Uh, ideally, you would want to clean these every other day, two to three times a week. So first you would disconnect the, the air assist hose. Then you would unscrew the laser head tip. Once you have that disconnected, you will then unscrew the silver ring that secures the focal lens. Be careful to not scratch the focal lens. While you're removing it, make sure you have like a soft cloth at the bottom of the laser head. Once you have the focal lens, you can clean it with focal lens cleaner, can wipe, or just any cleaning lens wipe. Make sure you remove any debris or smoke buildup on the focal lens. Once you're done, you have to install the focal lens back on its correct position with its concave side facing up and its flat side facing down. You will then secure it with the silver ring. You will then screw the laser head tip back to the body of the laser head and connect the air assist hose again. Continuing section number one, you will then clean mirror number three, which is located inside the laser head. You can spray lens cleaning solution onto the mirror and clean it gently with a cotton swab and a soft piece of cloth at the end of it. So continue on to section number two. You will then clean the external optics, which are mirrors number one and mirror number two. You can spray special cleaning lens wipe solution and clean softly with a soft wipe, or you can use a specialized cleaning lens wipe like a can wipe. Be careful not to scratch these mirrors and never remove them while cleaning. Continue on to section number three. You will then clean the rating system of the machine. Ideally, you would want to clean these, these rails once a month. You will grab a soft towel, paper towel, and clean the previous applied grease on the railing. Clean off the previous excess, and then you can apply white lithium grease on another clean paper cloth and apply gently over the rails. Continue on to section number four. You will then be cleaning the internal parts of the machine and the exterior body of the machine. Ideally, you would clean this once or twice a week. You wouldn't want any smoke debris accumulating or dust accumulating, whether on the interior of the machine or on the outside body of the machine. For this purpose, you can just use heavy duty cleaning towels to wipe down the machine. Continue on to section number five. This will be dealing with the distilled water of either your water pump system or your water chiller. Ideally, you would check the water levels every three to four weeks and replace the distilled water every six months. It's important to note that if you're using a water pump and a bucket, to have that bucket closed with a lid so that you will prevent any smoke, debris, or dust accumulating into the water. Another area that you need to clean frequently would be the bottom of the machine. Now, depending on your model, you could have a debris collection tray. You would want to clean this every, once a week, you know, empty out your, your debris, wipe it down, and insert it back at least once a week. If your machine does not have a collection tray, make sure that the bottom area of the machine is cleaned weekly. You know, gather all the, the, the debris from your cuts or your projects clean it out and just wipe it down once a week. So the last area that you would want to clean at least once a week would be the exhaust fan. You know, depending on how much you use the machine, the, the length of your projects, smoke debris and dust can accumulate on the fan blades. So make sure you get a heavy duty cleaning towel and you wipe it down. Make sure you get the surrounding area and also clean the blades. Having this clean will maximize the efficiency of your exhaust system. 